Ora Alan Kwaju Chamantin, aye, um, the leader of Movement for Change, Okana Waju, so Ghana will rise again. Ora no edi ne policies, abetuga. Na uti ora no policies na, it is like say, oni ye ura, aye, Kennedy akumpia ku honra bo, eno motina si omo shishe hon. Mi mo bibi akwa abahanom, aye, mega TV, ebe so so, ebe subscribe, na ube like yu magino. Na wa she ne bibi eti me akoso. Abu si nye beko, nye kwa kuti eh, de owner, de founder, ubi yoko fa afrafranto, the movement for change, you know, and butterfly. <laughs> Uwe we na ene, wa de panic, fear and panic, ato MPP ni NDC so, because they feel like they are no more safe. They feel like, si si, you know, um, how Ghanians are mu decide first, no nanka, e eh, NDC ni MPP. By name, Alan Swaba and Osha Medica Moyan TSA Global Info Analytics or information and our mood data our moya your modiba to abontino. Everything shows clearly say Alan Kojuch Mantin have a control on you know this upcoming election. And you know nobody should underestimate him or nobody should undermine him. What you are saying? And you have a conjure work with you, Rano Nensema or copy him ever. Northern region, Tamale, yes, Radio Tamale, and some of the two Ghana uh, so amazing and so, you know, um, you can say, say, some of them are not going to be able to do it, and they are going This is what we want, but they are going to be able to do it, and they are going to be able to do it, and they are going to be able to do it, and they are going to be able to do it, and then because of the time, they are going to be Quick one, you become your cock with you, Uran, and Sema with the two Iba. Now you coba the Akabian Mega Midbeto, so Mammy Fantia, Cassia, and call Mammy Mammy Chiba for a war, New York, America, DBA Femi, and Copon Shia, Mammy Sanson, Mammy Bacon, so Femi Free, UK, Mammy Roya, B, and Copon Asia, and you'll be be our share your platform, um, YouTube channel, no, we are for Ken, CEO, and you'll be be our share magazine, and you'll copon Asia, Papa, Passa, Baby, with me, a share. Na what you see as your plug on political news. In the same day, can kind no. But my dear, I have commented to you here and come to you here no. I want to say what the two men are saying. So, but you make kind suggestion. Everything fatum, but yes, now at the beginning, the end, what you say at the beginning, the end. I told we understand it, but at the beginning, no, I am not in case in the best row. Now, what you mean, I reserve. That at the beginning, now we are going to at home. I'm a BBA to me. I go so. You know what? You are Alan Kujuchi Mantin Kofabai. The man movement for change and some of the two guys. I go back. They are going to be an individual as well. Stay tuned. A 68-year-old political luminary. I mean, he's a corporate executive and a diplomat, and also an international public servant. In fact. He has had a distinguished political career as a politician. He served as Ghana's ambassador to the United States of America from 2001 to 2003 and later Minister of Trade and Industry, Private Sector Development and Presidential Special Initiatives from 2003 to 2007 during the President uh, John Ajakum Kufo's administration. Historically, he was appointed the second time for same portfolio and making him Ghana's longest serving Minister for Trade and Industry from 2017 to 2023. Now, this man I am talking about has actually served as a trade advisor at the United Nations Economic uh, Commission for Africa in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where he actually coordinated the African Trade Policy Center. Now, he first made his attempt or an attempt at the leadership of the New Patriotic Party as a running, I mean, for that particular high office of the New Patriotic Party in 2007. He ran home with about 32.3 percent of the votes now he was the first runner-up to president Nana Dodanko Akufuado, who is the current president who garnered about 47.96 percent of the vote cast now he made other attempts at the uh, seat or the party's leadership in 2010 and in 2014 but placed second to Nana Dodanko Akufuado, who won the primaries now on September 25 2023 he resigned from the new patriotic party after emerging third in the party's superdelegate conference organized on august 26 for his presidential or for his presidential hopefuls now indeed he formed the movement for change which 
he is the leader john alan kojo chairman is the man i'm going to speak with he has a bevy of other interact here in the studio i know i'll allow him to introduce them by himself and he is the man i'm going to talk to this morning and i wanna want us to be together on social media as well my name is robicon and i am excited to be a part of this conversation and sitting before this i mean illustrious son of our country let me welcome him into the studio good morning sir uh good morning rubicon how are you doing i'm doing great i'm fantastic and i'm happy to see you again yes thank you so much yeah. i was going to say that uh, i'm not a stranger uh, to, to this studio <laughs> yeah and sure sure i'm pleased to be back yeah i'm excited to see you again after i mean a few <coughs> months and uh, i mean you've you've come with a number of people i mean your entourage odk is, is one of the popular persons i mean in this country so he needs no introduction but then i must introduce him formally honorable you're welcome too thank you my brother yeah exciting to meet you yes i'm also pleased to be part of this conversation this morning great uh, great so let, let, let's start a conversation because uh, I know we are far behind time and then I would want us to do this as snappy as possible yeah. so we can catch up with other as aspects of the campaign. Now, you are the presidential candidate. I mean, uh, the flag bearer for the movement of ch uh, for change. I want to first of all start with you on the issue of this alliance that we are hearing about. Alliance for revolutionary change. What does I mean? What uh, correlation does it have to do with the movement for change? If you can take us through that for the first time. So thank you very much, Rubicon. And um, before I start, let me have this opportunity to introduce my colleagues here, uh, and that will lead into my answer uh, to the question. So uh, on my extreme right is Mother Tina Kujo, uh, who is one of the senior leaders of the third force movement okay um to my immediate right uh, you've already identified him uh, mr akwasi adai modike mm. uh, he is the presidential candidate or founder and leader of the union government movement mm. but he previously was the founder and leader of the ufp to my immediate left uh, is another well-known political figure, Mr. Henry Asante, mm. uh, who was the second vice chairman of the PNC. And to my extreme left is my own nephew, uh, who is also very well-known, uh, uh, Alhaji Bala. Uh, Alhaji Bala. <laughs> and um, he is the acting chairman of the PNC. A now a leader <laughs> and, and and the reason why you find them here together with the movement for change is because as you rightly uh, introduced me when i established the movement for change and i started my narrative i realized that uh, all the other political entities who are represented here today were actually speaking about the same thing and uh, I became very impressed. So I felt that it was important for us to sit together since we're talking about the same thing and then explore the possibilities of collaboration. And one other person who is not here is Dr. Abu Sakara. Dr. Abu Sakara is the founder and leader mm -hmm. of the National interest movement name so we decided then that yes we have our individual political entities some of them political parties others political groupings each party or each entity will keep their own identity their own symbol but then because we are fighting an election uh, in december 2024 that will join forces and then present a powerful robust electoral machinery so the, uh, so the alliance is not to change the i mean whether logo or whatever yes absolutely of, mm. so we have our individual identities mm. uh, each party or each uh, political grouping still has its own structures on the ground mm. but we mm. are working together collaborating 
to present a common front uh, to fight the general elections. So, so how and, the and this is probably, I think, in Ghana's history, mm. the most powerful alliance, as far as my recollection uh, yeah, is. Yeah, yes, yeah. you know, to bring ten different political groups together, <laughs> and for us to be working seamlessly, I think that in itself is a testimony of the. The, the kinds of people i was actually wondering leading. how you you were able to put all this <laughs> and, uh, the, and within, these great personalities within, within, great within a together. very short time yeah within a very short time mm. I, and it leads me to one very important point which is one of the reasons why we established the movement mm. and one of the reasons why we've come together that ghana needs to go beyond the duopoly of the ndc and the mpp it's become so obvious that unless we have a truly inclusive and representative government mm. this country is not going anywhere mm. and so you can see that the unified force that we have in itself speaks to the kind of government that we would have in this country if the people of ghana put their faith and trust in us it will be a government mm. of national Unity. So, so how has the campaign been? Uh, starting <coughs> from that point of their introduction, what difference or what changes have you really seen within your campaign and the reception when you go across the country? It's gone very well. You know that I'm an old political horse. <laughs> in fact, there's no village mm. in this country where I will not be recognized either by face or by my name. Just by name. Alan Cash, you know. <laughs> so, basically my colleagues here also are very well-known political figures mm. and once we hit the ground it has been phenomenal you see and the fact also is that the majority of Ghanaians from north to south east and west have one consideration they all want to go beyond the NPP and the NDC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They said they are tied. The geopoly is not the working. The is not working. If you have uh, two parties that have dominated our politics for over 32 years, and we are still grappling with the basic challenges of development, getting electricity, fixing our economy, there are, there are, there are people in this country who have not... Uh, had water running through their pipes for the last 30 years. I mean, obviously, <coughs> this is not sustainable. And so, the fact that there's a cry all over Ghana that they are looking for an alternative. Mm -hmm. And the alternative speaks also to the fact that the movement for change in itself is looking for change. And so, our, our paths have crossed. And I know that there are many people who are saying that unless there's a change, they are not going to vote. Mm -hmm. And I hear this very often in Tamale, in the northern region, that they are not going to vote because there's, there's no development. I want to assure them that if Alan becomes president, there will be development. So I want them to be encouraged. I want them to have hope and, and then stand strongly behind the movement and the and the alliance let, let, let me let me uh, just uh, hold you a bit okay. and then uh, hear from odk yeah. because uh, I, I i see that this is the first time i am engaging him and, but i know you've been to the northern region before several times oh sure <laughs> in my northern region is with us here oh, okay okay yes. okay so how has the campaign been and your alliance or this whole movement that we are experiencing how has it been for you are um, you excited about the whole in engagement? Yes, I was not. I was not forced mm. to be part of it. In fact, I was attracted to it. Um, Ghanaians are craving for a change, and Ghanaians must change before they can effect change. And since um, 1992, Ghana has been losing the country's potential properties. Ghana Airways is gone. Blaster Line is gone. So many things that we used to enjoy, we've lost them through the duopoly of 
NDC MPP dominance. And they think Ghanaians will follow them till their kingdom come. I believe Ghanaians now are discerning, unlike before. The youth are craving for jobs, which is not in an existence. And if you look at Tamale and its environs, you could see clearly that people are not happy. Yeah. We need a, an all-inclusive governance with a well-established national policy that will bring everybody on board as one body to prosecute the agenda together. The people must be in of the national policy. You have vision, isn't it? That's why you are here working. Why the whole country doesn't have vision? And relying on manifestos which is not consistent even with the duopoly what the manifesto mpp present and the ndc present they are not the same the government says that we are working towards a ghana beyond aid agenda and he is um trekking around the globe cup in hand begging the man who who told you this he is number one beggar around the globe and if you if you sit and and do national introspection you will see that mpp and ndc since 1992 that we've given them the opportunity to 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 um, transform this country they have woefully failed now do you know what they are doing hmm. they are uh, just opposing the the um, who is the uh, the higher corrupt government and who is the less who does this and who does that both of them pushes into imf both of, the, of them pushes into doom so unemployment all the things that is not affecting the uh, neck uh, adversely on the youth mm -hmm. they have created it look just look around when i was a kid voter corn beef was at the market from the north Mm -hmm. um palugu tomato uh, um Balgatanga meat factory you name them these are were the um kind of um factories that provided livelihood for the people and not the three northern regions under ik tampon was the food basket for the entire sub region mm. now we are losing our farmlands our water bodies we are losing everything and the countries that we were far 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 ahead of them are now we are going to them to uh, for assistance recently president is as sourcing assistance from korea which we were better off those days and the youth they have plunged you into perpetual poverty they are keeping you in a cage they only release you when it is time for elections mm. so that they can use you to do all the dirty works for them to win and when they win you, you are being uh, marginalized okay so okay, because of because of the time we are managing let let me, me, let me, let okay me just wrap on, on that yes mm. what i have observed is that we need a change in our gov governance structure ghana doesn't have leadership structure in our constitution it is full of discretionaries so when we vote for a leader thinking that he will use his mind to develop this country this time around mr lancia martin if you if you if you if you go through the gtp mm. the leadership cluster you will see that we are we are we are um um uh, reforming or reviewing the constitution of this country so that we will have leadership structures that will deliver to the needs of the people. All right. People of Tamale, we can't talk much, but all that we are saying is that you've been able, you've been voting for MPP and NDC. The time has come for you to change because you are not happy with uh, these two 
um, political parties. If you change, then you can effect change. Change and vote for Alan Kodjo Chematin and your life will not be the same. Okay, let, 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 me, let me hear from Chairman too as well and uh, what his own uh, rendition for this whole change is about. Uh, or, I mean, or if you like, how the campaign has been for you, whether you are excited with what you are seeing, the euphoria, and then the kind of feel or the ambience you are receiving each and i know you've been to almost everywhere <laughs> uh, honorable <laughs> has been to as well so how has it been for you ever since this alliance came up well um thank you very much and uh good morning to everyone in, within the environment let me take this opportunity to say assalamu alaikum to my muslim brothers within the uh, community yeah as they've really pointed out i think um in mr alan tramantin i personally decided to join him I'm the vice chairman of the People's National Convention, the political party. But I decided mm. to join him because, one, this is somebody I have known for years. Um, listened to him attentively, and I came <coughs> to realize that, look, with the vision of this man is similar to the visions that I really have. Mm. If we are within our political parties and we are not seeing the right causes that we're looking for, and he has a vision, what's stopping from joining him? That is exactly what I thought of. And I said, no, I need to also do the best little that I can to help in transforming this country and make it a better place to live with. Now, politically, if you look at the structures of this country, Ghana shouldn't have been where it is today. We should have been far ahead of the system. But mm. naturally, I, I, I personally find it difficult to comprehend why we are far behind time mm. in times like this. As I said earlier on, in Mr. Lantra Martin, I can assure Ghanaians in the entire world that look the leadership qualities the leadership qualities in the man here let us all try as much as we can do the best that we can and give him our vote i can assure everybody that we shall never be disappointed mm. so let me let me find from uh, find out from you what does this whole entity the alliance that we are talking about what does it really have in common with the movement for change because i know odike has touched with it on it a bit but from your side and coming from the uh Nkrumah's, uh, mm -hmm. uh entity, sure exactly. what really what connection is there because he came from a different background and today it appears his vision or i mean his, his uh, movement it seems to be grabbing the ideals of where you, where you are currently i really i'm just i'm just asking whether you have seen any similarity yeah with, there is in the sense that if i should draw your memory to one thing mm -hmm. you remember the cold war the era of the cold war yeah we read well, about that absolutely the russian and the american concept yeah. where they think we had the uh, so like a polar system this going but now they came to the realization that the world is turning into something else so if we share common ideology and philosophy with a, a neighbor why don't you team up we get to team up and then make a country better than it so is. So what it means is that Alan Chamantin found found he actually got himself in an area that he didn't belong in the first place. Well, I cannot <laughs> say for sure, but naturally, let me let me accept you by your way, and probably similarly <laughs> are the same. <laughs> so when we are sharing similar sentiments and mm. similar ideas, then I think it's better we come together and mm. move on as a system. Okay, I, I think adding you... adding to what my chairman said mm. is that him um, as an opposition, um, we also see it's uh, we, we found a reason why. A party like PNC to also join mm -hmm. in the sense that I I've been following Mr. Alan Trent, uh, Alan, Alan Trent, not today. So coming out with a new party and uh, a new sorry new oh, movement, oh, yeah. which we also notice that is going to it will en enhance us and then uh, enhance Ghana as, uh, uh, at large. So we decided. Myself, I came by my own. I, I came by myself as a chairman okay. and the leader for PNC to join. And then as we speak now, our regional chairman and secretary are down there okay trying yes they are down here they are just here yeah, yeah. and then most of our original executives too do also join us to so, the so what it means is that this year we will not see pnc on the ballot oh. but you see movement <laughs> That's yes because you see um we are all looking for a change mm. and then if one can lead us to where we are we are already looking for why wouldn't we join and then yes. to find a solution e ever since this issue of alliance came i have seen a number of people share thoughts that why not just convert it into one solid political so party rather than <laughs> Really, just saying, okay, it's an alliance, it's a movement that we want to. Explain. It's too early for now because we also have a candidate from our constituencies. <laughs> okay. So we want our because we are going to do that sketch and blood because definitely mm. they will vote for PNC as parliamentary candidate, and then for the presidential, we are going for Alan as a president. Yeah. Okay. So let let me find out. So what is the motive? 
if you look at the i mean your, your confidence level that the two i mean the various about 10 right mm -hmm. 10 different political parties you just decide to bestow confidence in alan chairman that he, he can lead yes because you see uh we we noticed that um, his policies that he has now is better in the sense that um, we all agreed we all agreed because my for my own side because imagine almost six or seven regional chairmen are in support of this from our side okay regional chairman secretary mm. and then they're even what about even the country and co they are all in support of it you see having said that also we are working from the grounds okay we are really working on the grounds and then i believe that come 2024 alan will crown the president of this very nation wow the, anyway let, let let's just, come to uh, oh no, uh -huh. yeah let me just add that um basically what this country needs is leadership, leadership. leadership. That's true. it's about leadership yeah. look there are three leading figures who are going to contest for the yes. presidency uh, former president joe mahama mm -hmm. uh, dr uh, mahmoud baumia yeah. who is currently vice president and myself mm. now if it's about leadership there's a then, new force too. If, if it's about leadership, then we are looking at, amongst the three of us, who has vision, who has competence, who has integrity, and who has shown that he can act. It's about action. Now, if this is going to be the measure for electing the next president, then in all humility, in all humility, I think that Alan stands tall. But, you, uh, but uh, Rubicon, yeah. see, Ghanaians are looking for a number of things to happen. They want a leader who will bring an end to the division in this country. Yeah. I mean, we all know that this country is divided yeah. in the middle. Every issue is politicized now. You listen to the airwaves. Mm -hmm. Every issue is now politicized is between NDC and MPP. I mean, obviously, this does not bode well for our country. And you need somebody who can bring the country together, who can heal the country, who can reconcile the country. And I think that I'm the best person to do this. But it goes beyond that. People are also looking for a leader who can create employment op opportunities. I mean, we know from the statistics that unemployment is now about 14.7. 14 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is a very serious matter for us. It's almost a, a security uh, issue now. And if you're looking for somebody who can lead this country in a way that would create employment opportunities, then my record is clear. Because we are talking about industrialization, mm. we are talking about agriculture. And amongst the three of us, if we audit our backgrounds, both outside government and within government, if it is about jobs, then clearly Alan stands tall. It also goes beyond that. We are looking for someone who has a plan. Mm. Look, we have two dominant political parties. As I speak now, they put together uh, let's say teams manifesto teams a new uh, movement that is yet now to taste power we have put forward the most comprehensive policy blueprint for ghana's transformation which is a great transformational plan so if you are comparing uh, us with the dominant parties who are now preparing their manifestos full of promises mm. as against a, a, a movement that already has presented a national plan for transformation. Now again, the, the choice should be obvious. Uh, uh, okay, you want to say something? Yes, la but, just like okay. um, mm -hmm. Mr. Lange mm -hmm. okay. said, mm. we need consistency in our development. Mm -hmm. And the manifestos of MPP and NDC they are not um the contents are not the same mm. so when we vote one out of power whatever development they undertook truncates 
and uh, then that government starts all over again. So Ghana is um, not de developing because um, we don't have consistency yeah. in our development. And Mr. Lanchamatin, looking at his background, he has created more millionaires in this country. He has created more millionaires in this country. Look, Empretech. He brought Empretech, which has nurtured so many millionaires in this country. Notably among them is Kasapa, uh, Kasapreko, who is manufacturing uh, awake um, uh, mineral water and mm. um, alcoholic beverages for export. Mr. Lanche Martin brought Agua, which gives Ghanaians license to export to American market. Mr. Alan Chamartin has currently uh, bring the headquarters of Africa Continental, Continental Trade mm. to Accra. Look, his track record, none of his uh, competitors comes even closer. They have big, uh, large followers, but they don't have the vision. Uh, Mr. Baumia, if he has anything to offer this country, he is in the government now. If he thinks Nana Kufado is not taking his advice, he must have the courage to quit, just like uh, Mr. Alanche Martin did, because he is for Ghana and not for the political party. And partisanship is creating division in this country, mm -hmm. and we are losing everything. Okay. We are losing everything. Mm -hmm. So please, Ghanaians, the time has come for you to change your voting pattern if you want a change change your voting pattern before you we can effect change okay let, not, let, let, let's, let's listen to the feminine side as well so that the, the conversation can be balanced uh quite unfortunately i think you are much lower than we expected <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. I, I, I hope you're doing well. Yes, I want to speak to our president to be his vision. Mm. One of his vision is to promote microeconomic activity by identifying reliable resources that can generate potential income for all its inhabitants in each of the 16 regions in Ghana. The northern sector is the food basket of Ghana. And there is a need to promote mechanized farms, support agro processing, and also to promote easy access to both local and international markets. Alan has achieved a lot for himself. Ghana and other African countries like DR Congo, Nigeria, South Africa, I can keep on mentioning and mentioning. He does not only have a vision but has also demonstrated more than words that he is more than capable to lead this country. As he was mentioned along with John F. Kennedy, Bill Gates as a millennial leader in then magazine, yeah. 1994. Also, he is a visionary. Choose Alan. Choose Alan mm. to save Ghana now. Thank okay, you. great to hear. Le, le, okay, let me come. Chairman, you want, you want, you want to say something? Mm. One thing, one area I would like to look at briefly is the fact that when things are getting tough, you need a visionary leader to deliver it from such tantrums. You may recall, or you may agree with me, that when things were very, getting very murky in the Republic of Benin, the people of Benin, after trying the Kerekou era for a long period of time, decided that no, enough is enough. They went for no mean personality that Patrice Solon, who is an independent candidate. And today, just as we are in info, somebody may ask why the, an independent candidate, but he has, he's very visionary. So I'm pleading with all my fellow Ghanaian, like look, just like the people of Benin have done it, I sincerely believe that when we go in for Mr. Alan Germantin, a visionary leader, we shall get to the final destination. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm going. I'm. Uh, uh, I'm speaking. I'm. Going to, I mean. The, uh, I'm speaking. Look at dialect. Our look at dialect. Okay. Having said yes, how sir? Um. Nide jama kunji ni sunana governor bala salu mekankang akang she butun mu yam mu ni kabani yazu ni national chairman ni na PNC dokuma leader PNC ama mu join movement for change 
saboda mun ga aske a wannan waje abin nan sai muka ce mun ga mun ga aske a wannan hanyar because she she ci ama mu kunce shi presidential candidate mu wato yayi abuwa da dama da mutane ba sani ba kuma ya develop wato yayi dai muna abuwa cikin zangon mu wa mu sani ba kuma an ce zabi shi kuma mu yan zangon mu ke zabo mu ka zama deprived area nan she mu mu aka kale mu to amma nan muke kiran jama'an da suke kowane community in dai kuna jin mu to muna so ku ja hankalin ku yazo back to movement for change in Allah ya da ma yau ga muna da mara ali na daga nan ga mun je mun je masallaci mun je na ali sunna mun je kuma babban masallaci mu je mu magana da imamu na tijaniya mun je na tijaniya mun je kuma na ali sunna yau ga after mun fita wajen nan ba muna da mara ali da zamu yi kuma cikin gari wato shi Allah ne wa muna abuwa da ba ku sani ba don kuma free shs ma da ake magana ga shi mutumin guda guda gano shi ya kawo talo oil shi ya kawo sunan ga cosmos cosmos company wangan nan shi kuma ya kawo sufa su wangan ruka suke jan mai a garin nan wato shi ya kawo su suka taimaka daga a garin ya samu kudi baya samu to wannan kudin ne ake kai mutane school free free hss nan shi ya kawo amma yanzu ba ba kira sunan shi minwa kuma shi ya kawo ideas shi ne kuma shi ya kawo ka gani sai abubuwa di wana fara ku du ku ri imagine a kira ka gani muka tumantos guda fi hcds tumantos guda five cities mi wa kuma gashi nan gadan da yawa gashi nan gadan gadan mun zo nan gashi nan da yawa wato transportation shike kawo iri wannan masaloli ka duba hajin da aka je na banan nan haji na sai kuna so ku je haji mutane kuna so ku je haji hankalin ku kwance ko to ku duba iri iri masalolin da muke samu wajen haji duba kudin da aka sa haji 75000 Ghana cedis ko wani mutum guda in za ka je haji to shi president mun ce Alan Truman ta ce in yazo ya duba ya sa ido ta wajen a duba a duba ne za a gyara wajen balle akwai babban mu nan Alhaji Boniface duk ya taba yin wannan aikin kun sani shi sai in dai batu addini mu musulmi ba mu wasa da batun addini ba mu wasa da addini abin ne ya zama kaman shine haji da kuma yana cikin kaidar sallomi musulunci to ya za ce zaka je haji zaka biya 75 Ghana cedis min wa 25 Ghana cedis ya kai ka haji ni na kai mutane guda guda fudu haji with 25 Ghana cedis 25000 Ghana cedis so then how would they charge 75 Ghana cedis for me was 75000 okay come 25 ya ya kai mutane ku duba shanu za yi na sallan nan ka gana sai da shana ye 300 million 200 million duka cikin akara yanzu nan zaka je zaka yi layya to ka gani shi sa Allah ya ce in yazo as a presidential in yazo as a president ya duba muna yana zai taimaka muna shi sa jama'a do Allah ku duba yau ga ku zo kuma kowa ya jawo vote shi back to movement for change ka ku ce ba change akwai change akwai change ka ku sa kai NDC MPP no 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 ba haka bane this time Allah mun shake NDC mun shake MPP mun shi shake Binduka shi sa Allah da movement for change mune mu za mu ci wanga kuriya she sa ko wai vote ba movement of change in Allah ya kaimu dizimba all right let me come to madam roda uh, she actually is coming from the abu uh, dr abu sakara's uh, uh, camp and you, uh, you you happens to be the rep on this particular tour right yeah she thinks so oh, okay <laughs> rosalyn ayana oh, okay who is also a well known political figure oh okay great great so let, let's hear from you L let's hear from you and then uh, what you are bringing to this whole alliance um good morning tamale um for us in the national interest movement we have always believed in the Ghanaian being capable of doing things for him or herself we actually started the national interest movement with a just one hmm. issue that's an independent presidential candidate to be also followed by independent um, parliamentary candidates because at the end of the day with a duopoly that we have we have seen what has happened we have seen that we have not really achieved much and there were, therefore we thought that there was the need for us to have a different concept altogether that might bring change to this country um, democracy is not just about going to elections selecting people yes so it is obvious so rano MPP ni NDC oni omu ni kaka biya and he will try as much as possible to de-associate himself from MPP ni NDC because he he has come into conclusion and understood say omu 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 both parties you know they are corrupt so for that matter he can't you know associate himself with them 
and me mega metias here. But a drew baby, so I don't get the concept that Allah Naya will free a banner because you can't, you know, deny the fact that say, oh, yeah, the back root of MPP, you were coming from MPP, and even a BB and a ma, a BB. What you say, you are told the beer and some of our canoe. I are gonna for me and tell me, you know, because MPP and DC, you are president, he said the same sweet words, you know. Sugar coated waste and same be bra brana or more position, but a mobile and what are we seeing? The arrogance, pride, just a enema enema would be why you don't understand unimaginable things. Any you know, and some are wrong. I told the beer, okay, sabi bra and feyana acquire them, did he? But that's how they understand. And he said, I don't promote so because I hear your politics. I know the dear team. No, you know, I don't promote that. But sometimes, how they react, how they, you know, respond to certain issues in this country, you know, and it is not, you know, the reality. What you are saying. And for example, over here in the poll, uh, the energy minister, how he reacted to certain comments on the doing so, yeah, it is so bad, and I condemn it. After all, that is the reason why they can't name him as running mate at the man, Dr. Mahmoud Bomia, because on one case, he said they have created mess in the energy sector and they have also, you know, created some Ayibia and more, more different, you know, patronage. In tea, um, Maminfa will see now. Uh, Mess also best subscribe to the channel now. I like it, you may know, I say. Now for for any be ashe, but more than that, subscribe to the channel. The ghosting, yanko ponsha mi ko bisa, yanko ponsha ni ubiya. All right, abusiya. That is how it is. Mami for unsi. Now subscribe to the channel. No, ebe boa amayen so yet mi akufa like it. Ehiya me pa. Send me di kanke. Ubiya ashe me geti mi yanko ponsha. Uh, yanko pon ishra. Abibiya. Yemre ni mami for unsi. In appropriate time, no, you better ya digest it, sir, and seminar along with the chairman to your kind. Now, so we're going to get a way to our body money in upcoming election. Now, go point, bye bye.